MGTOW and Psychological Warfare Part 2. So there you are. You've been watching enough videos on the nature of women, the role in society, feminism, marriage and divorce, relationships, etc. That you are now beginning to identify yourself as a MGTOW. You even have enjoyed a good taste of the peace and tranquility that results from walking away from it all. Oh, but if only life were so easy and simple. The truth is that your philosophy and the lifestyle that results from it is being attacked from all angles. Among the enemies lurking in the internet shadows, you will find manginas, white knights, full-blown feminists, money-hungry governments led by puppet politicians, and in the brick and mortal word world, I'm sorry, uh, you will find divorce attorneys, marriage counselors, fla flower and bridal shops, jewelry store owners, movie theaters, bars, nightclubs, and other entertainment venues, including clothing shops and even car dealerships. Everyone has a say in how you choose to live your life. But none of these people and organizations have your best interest at heart. Their aim is to profit from your enslavement and resulting misery. If one thing is clear here, it's the fact that they will not just let you walk away in peace. They see MGTOW as a rebellion ideology, a rebellious ideology. They see it as a philosophy and way of life that threatens their bottom line. Nip it in the bud before it grows out of control, they figure. Their attacks against you and your newfound freedom, whether false or real, are all delivered with the same negative intentions. They call you terrorist and misogynist. They ask who hurt you and they demand that you return to the plantation. The end result of all this is that you have come to realize that MGTOW is at once peace and war. But if eternal vigilance is indeed the price of freedom, you above all have chosen to pay that price. Parallel to every physical war is a war of ideas. And with that said, I give you a welcome to the gender war. And like I said, you are at peace because going your own way, you refuse to play women's games. You refuse to be another victim of their manipulations. You refuse to become a slave. But safe from that close hand manipulation and the fact that you become weak just by associating with weak people, they still wish to convince you that walking away is futile. They wish to convince you that their flabby bodies, their inherent weakness, their superficiality and even their sometimes downright physical decay is something that you desire. For their convenience and benefit, women have created a world of ever-shifting standards. To use a simple example, a man is mandated to read a safety manual and to take a multiple choice test answering questions regarding the information contained in the booklet he just read. He takes the test knowing that after reading the booklet twice, all his answers are correct. To his surprise, he later discovers that one of his answers was marked wrong. Points this out to the woman who graded the exam along with the information written in the booklet. 
To which he says, it doesn't matter anyway. All they wanted was to make sure you took the test. This creates cognitive dissonance that stifles the mind. Freeing yourself from mental chains that enslave you requires mental strength. And how you become mentally strong is by questioning every image and statement that comes your way. To think is to question. And those who pray or wish to profit from your ignorance do everything in their power for you not to question things. This is the reason why churches teach tradition, why governments teach patriotism or nationalism, why schools have you recite mindless slogans and commit things to memory. Even tyrannical parents teach their kids to follow orders blindly because, after all, they say, that is how we have always done it in this family. And as far as they're concerned, they figure that the younger you are when you stop questioning, the better for them. So if questioning everything is your first line of defense in this war, the greatest safeguard to your freedom is remaining focused on your goals. This is why the enemy does everything in his or her power to distract and confuse you. Distraction occurs when a seemingly more enticing or appealing idea is introduced in the discourse as a way to deviate your train of thought. As an example, you turn on your cell phone or computer in order to read your email, and a minute later you're midway through reading an article with a sensationalist headline. Confusion, on the other hand, is created when you have to ponder conflicting information, especially a big amount of it. There's nothing confusing about MGTOW. Do keep that in mind. So at war we are, and since the fight and since fight you must, it is better to stand and deliver. So there you have it. Question everything including the information in this video. Do not let anyone confuse you and make sure you remain focused on your goals. But you must take it all a step further. And while you're at it, don't forget to go on the attack. Go ahead and create confusion and dissension in the enemy's ranks. Make them question their sanity to the point where they beg to walk themselves into a padded room. Be sure and distract them. Have them question themselves and their ideology. And above all, remember that if you yourself become an angry madman wishing to put an end to our philosophy, if you turn around and bite the hand that once fed you and patted you in the back, the gatekeepers of McTow will be here to set you right. And remember that while we have taught you everything that you know, we haven't taught you everything that we know. Thank you for listening to this video. If you like the information contained in it, please hit a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Catch you next time. Thank you.